，你好，欢迎再次来到 TVBS 大师讲堂，我是夏家璐。在上一次，我们邀请了中研院院士陈培哲教授，主要是针对了 COVID-19 的病毒啊，病毒为什么变异啊，疫苗是怎么研发出来的，以及疫苗为什么可以帮助我们产生抗体等等来开讲。那在今天呢，我们是跨海邀请了一位大师，会更多来针对目前在国际上最新有关于疫苗啊、抗体，甚至是治疗药物方面的研究进度，还有在未来可能的。发展要带我们大家会有更多更进一步的认识，所以一起来欢迎在今天邀请的美国哥伦比亚大学教授何大一何博士，你好，夏小姐你好。博士晚安哦，博士现在在美国东岸的时间，又跟我们刚好是日夜颠倒。博士现在在美国，目前我们了解到的疫情其实已经舒缓许多了嘛？是。不是我们大家比较认识跟了解的是，您在九零年代就发明了艾滋病毒的鸡尾酒疗法。那我们也知道，现在您也带领了在哥伦比亚大学的一个医学团队，持续针对 COVID-19 的一些疫苗啊开发研究，也持续都在进行当中。那在台湾，其实一般政府啊对民众的呼吁就是，只要你打得到的疫苗都是好疫苗。不过现在我们所了解到，市面上像 Moderna、Pfizer、BNT， 或者是像在台湾自己有高端疫苗，还有像 AZ 疫苗，还是有很多不同的这个。保护的机制跟这个抗体产生的方式，所以民众还是很想了解，在这些不同的疫苗之间，到底有没有什么比较好、比较坏，或者是有没有什么是比较有效的？它的有效性差别会很大吗？想要首先先请教一下博士。Okay, well, first of all, thank you for having me on your program. It's a real pleasure to be with you this evening. Um, I would just say a few things about our own research first. And that is, we've been focusing on the development of monoclonal antibodies, Danzu Kanti, and we have developed over 350 such antibody, and one of them is already in development as a product. But more recently, we have、uh, identified antibodies that are very, very broad in neutralizing not just the COVID virus variants that we face today, but also the SARS virus. And many other related viruses in animals, particularly in bats. The other research area for my group is we're studying antibody responses, how they come up in、uh, as part of vaccination, and how they then decline in time, how they act on the different variants of COVID-19、uh, virus, and how they respond、uh, to boosts and how they correlate. With protection against disease, in terms of the vaccines, is that's obviously great news that we have so many vaccines already in such short period of time. Of course, we all know what、uh, losses we have gone through with a quarter of a billion infections worldwide already, and over five million deaths, and we're still adding half a million new cases each day. And where I live in the U.S., we still have 72,000 cases per day, and about 1,000 deaths. And the winter is coming, so we expect the situation、uh, to worsen. Hopefully, not as bad as the previous year. But the vaccines and drugs and antibodies are going to make a huge difference. We know that these drugs and antibodies could lower death and hospitalization. By 90 percent, and the vaccines are variable in their effectiveness, ranging from about 50 percent all the way up to 95 percent. So, not all vaccines are equal. There are some that are clearly better than others, and this is one aspect that my laboratory has been studying for a long time. And I would say, based on the antibody measurements and based on protection against disease in、uh, in clinical trials. It is pretty clear that the mRNA vaccines made by either Moderna or Pfizer are superior to the vaccines made by Johnson and Johnson, which in turn、uh, is superior to that made by AstraZeneca. And then probably、uh, coming in at last are the inactivated vaccines made in mainland China or in India. So I, I would say. Uh, the clear winner so far would be the Moderna or Pfizer vaccines. 
，所以不同的疫苗在保护力上还是有一些差别。尤其刚才在不是呃谈到了，接下来又面临到了秋冬这样的季节，那持续的对于疫情的变化还是必须要保持高度的关注。还有一点就是，我们都知道病毒一直在变异哦，那每一次变异呢，传染力也其实都更厉害，像甚至甚至这个 Delta 还有 Delta 又在变异出来一个新的一个病毒株。所以就目前呃，博士您所了解，我们到现在所开发出来的疫苗。即使说保护力比较强的 mRNA 疫苗，在面对不断变异的病毒，它在保护力上是不是还是有一些大家会比较担心的地方？那在未来哦，生技医学界要怎么样再去有更多的研发，或者有一些什么样的方式来面对像这样子病毒不断变异的挑战 ？Yes,、uh, we we have gone through. The emergence of many different variants over the past year.、Uh, last summer, we saw the initial appearance of alpha and beta variants,、uh, and the alpha variant became very dominant. And then,、uh, of course, we know the the delta emerged in India and quickly spread to Europe and U.S. and the rest of the world. And that is so dominant right now,、uh, accounting for. Way over ninety percent of the viruses in the population today, and it's likely the next variant will come from、uh, the Delta virus. And you would say, well, where? I think it's wherever、uh, there is under vaccination or no vaccination.、Uh, in such places, the virus will find those persons and will spread. And as the virus spread, it will replicate. Uh, and when it replicates, it will make mutations, and certain variants will emerge.、Uh, and and it's pretty clear that these variants emerge for one of two reasons. One is it's more easily transmitted from person to person, and the second one is that it could evade our antibodies. And and for the first, the best example is Delta. Which、uh, has been estimated to be a hundred percent more transmissible than the original、uh, strain that came out of Wuhan. In terms of、uh, antibody resistance, we know that、uh, Delta, for example, is about five times more resistant than the original strain, and the Beta variant is actually ten times more resistant. However, that variant doesn't seem to be as transmissible. So we really have to be、uh, concerned about、uh, places where there is under vaccination and the the virus is allowed to、uh, replicate and mutate. 那就博士，您刚才提到的、哦、这个数字听起来蛮吓人的。就每一次在病毒变异之后的传染的速度啊，我成倍数的增加。所以就目前现阶段的这些疫苗，我们我们现在打在身上的这些疫苗，对于变异的病毒来说，还是有很强的保护力吗？或者是说，生技医疗界会不会接下来还想要再开发什么样的疫苗来去因应病毒不断的变异 ？So the The protection against some of the variants like beta and delta、uh, is clearly lower than the protection against the original virus,、um, and and that's been shown in a number of studies.、Uh, but the the some level of protection still exists,、um, and so I think the the idea is to continue to vaccinate the population as much as possible. And keep the virus replication down, and therefore,、uh, the chance of a nasty variant emerging would be smaller. And then, of course, the scientists are busy working on、uh, vac- next generation vaccines. Some of them are directed to the to the Delta variant,、uh, and also we are all working on、uh, vaccines and antibodies that would attack. All the viruses in this family, including SARS-1 from 20 almost 20 years ago, including the COVID-19 and those viruses that exist in bats. 
。所以一方面，我们还是看到科学界持续的还是有研究的进度来针对不同的变种的病毒，但同时我们看到各国的政策也都开始做些做一些不要调整，很多国家慢慢的都已经开放他们的国境了。现在说只有百分之七左右的国家是属于 red line country、red line border， 包含台湾也是在内，采取的政策目标跟方向是不大一样的。那么有一部分呢？就是想要走的是所谓清零政策 o c l e a n 那另外就是 Coexist 跟病毒能够共存。就目前，不是你来观察全世界这整个疫苗发展的状态，还有包含了整个疫情哦，现在的这个比较趋缓的趋这个呃这个趋势之下，您来看，像台湾现在好像还是比较走的要清零的这样的政策，是不是慢慢的也必须做一些调整跟转向呢？您的评估大概是怎么样？ Yes, I, I think first of all, I should say Taiwan really did a fine job at in controlling the pandemic as it first came out.、Uh, so its early success became、uh, a model for rest of the world, and in fact, Taiwan was highly praised by other countries.、Uh, very much、uh, unlike U.S., which did a terrible job in the beginning. Uh, and and of course we all know Taiwan kept the cases down, and the hospitalization and death to a minimum,、uh, and that sort of zero COVID policy with very strict quarantine has served Taiwan very well in the in in throughout 2020,、uh, and and it's pretty much、uh, similar to what、uh, mainland China does and and what Hong Kong is doing. And up till recently, very similar to Australia, Singapore, New Zealand.、Um, the question is whether this is sustainable in the long term.、Um, there, the situation in 2021 is not the same as 2020, and and I think you know the world is striving to return to normal and to open up.、Um, and now we have a lot of tools at our disposal. We have lots of technological development now,、uh, with vaccines, with antibodies, with drugs, and and all of these、uh, are highly protective.、Uh, for the vaccines, we already talked about the fact that they could reduce disease、uh, by fifty percent, all the way up to ninety-five percent, and the antibodies and drugs、uh, could reduce hospitalization and death. By up to ninety percent, so we really don't need to fear the virus as much as we did last year.、Uh, we have the technological developments have allow us to treat treat COVID like maybe flu.、Uh, it's not going to go away, and we have to learn to live with the virus.、Uh, it's going to be endemic. That is, it's going to hang around, but we hope with our tools,、uh, it won't do so much harm. So I think in in the U.S., we're certainly uh, 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 moving toward uh, normal. Uh, it's it's pretty much、uh, open. Even Australia, New Zealand, Singapore are doing away with the z- zero COVID policy. Uh, and and in New York, we're returning to normal despite having 1,000 cases per day. You know, the, Taiwan would be shocked by that. But yet, I don't. I, life seems to be uh, okay uh, because we don't fear the virus as much now.、Mm. Uh, and 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 so it's important for Taiwan to adopt vaccine and antibodies and drugs as quickly as possible. And so that's an aspect that I would say the U.S. has done a better job、uh, than Taiwan. 嗯嗯，所以重点还是大家在心态上面调整哦，看待这个疫情，在二零呃二零二零年跟现在二零二一年应该有一个不同的眼光哦。毕竟已经有了这么多的疫苗啊，然后大家开始体内产生了抗体啊，甚至有更多的治疗药物。所以刚才博士不断强调说，我们不要害怕哦。讲到现在纽约人的生活也慢慢的恢复到正常。我在昨天还播新闻，大家已经开始在跑马拉松了。那